Hey guys, Joanna coming in. Got another battle replay here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We do have a 3v3 siege here on the settlement of Carthage. We'll put a mark over here. This is the town center for Carthage, in case you guys did not know that. But I kind of think most of you do. But, alright, let's take a look at the armies. We'll start off on the attacker side. First looking at Carthage here being commanded by Beyond Rusty. And from what we can see, he has brought four units of Libyan infantry, four, four Gallic hunters, three Cretan archers, and he does have his general now coming out of the woods. Oh, okay, so we got some more Libyan infantry there. Okay, good stuff. Over here, we do have an Arverni being commanded by Dawa, Dawakin? Dawakin, I think. Uh, he has brought seven units of chosen swordsmen, four Celtic warriors, two levy freemen, and one Osworn, from what we can see. And then we have a Tylus force over here. Actually, a lot of forces coming out of the woods now. Okay, good to see. Good to see. Because originally he only had, uh, well, Tylus being commanded by Donner Kral, or Donner Kraley, I think. Uh, originally he only had two units of Celtic warriors, but we do see a couple more units have shown up. We do have a Gallo Thracian infantry right there. On the defender side, we will first take a look at Saba being commanded by Agent Panda, and he has brought six units of Moscow Marauders, five Sabaean swordsmen, one Desert Levy, one Sabaean spearman. General is a Marib Camel Cataphrac. He also has one Sabaean Camel Cataphrac, one Camel Spearman, and three units of Slingers. Then we have a Masesali being commanded by Vendetta, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he has brought seven units of Desert Legionnaires, four Vigilates, two units of Desert Cohort. General is a Noble, I'm sorry, Numidian Noble Infantry. Four units of Tribal Slingers, and he did bring a regular Ground Scorpion up on the hilltop there. And then we have a Galatia being commanded by JMS Fox Saratoga. And he has brought six units of Galatian Legionnaires, six Galatian Swords, one Levy Freeman. General is a Noble Horse, three Syrian Archers, and a Celtic Slinger. So, all right, there you go. Army's out of the way. More, uh, okay, so here's a lot more Carthage. Oh, wow, Tylus is over here. Oh, all right, well, good to see. Ooh, we got Sabine, ca Camel, Camel Spearman, not, not, not Sabine, Camel Spearman. Camel Spearman, staring into the eyes of some uh, Libyan infantry who are unfortunately getting shot in the back. They haven't lost anybody just yet. But Carthage doing it okay. Ooh, no, 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 throwing javelins. No, don't, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. He's throwing javelins at a unit of Desert Levy that were on the wall there. So they lost 50 men. Wow. Did the, did the wall... Oh, I think the wall killed some. I think the wall killed some. Looks like it. Well, actually, no, there's a lot of dead bodies up here, so I guess they were taking the uh, shots from the towers as they were making their way forward. But let's get... Wow, there was a lot more Carthage showing up. Okay. Uh, we got Sam Knights. We got Libyan infantry. Some more Sam Knights. Libyans, Libyans, Libyans. Uh, Gallic warriors. Some more Libyan infantry. Yep, more Libyan infantry there. So let's see what Tylus brought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like seven units of tribal warriors. Let's just make sure none of these are O-sworn. No, none of them are O-sworn. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven units of tribal over there. Tribal warriors, I should say, over there. And he is bringing his Celtic warriors into the settlement. They're up on the wall, actually coming down. Going to start neutralizing this tower. It's definitely going to be helpful. Desert Vigilates sitting right there. We have a lot of archers firing, actually. Celtic Slingers. Oh, that was Slingers firing. And Tribal Slingers firing as well. Okay, good stuff. Good, 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 good stuff. Um, attackers, no artillery. No artillery for the attackers. Not usual. Kind of strange when attackers don't bring artillery, especially on walled settlements, like actual walled settlements, not barbarian settlements. It's kind of weird. I always find it a little weird when they do at least bring one giant ballista. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway. Walls still being crumbled down here. Levy Freeman doing their jobs. Got some javelins now being thrown. Galatian swords tossing their javelins up onto this Celtic warrior unit. They have neutralized this tower, which is definitely good. Looks like the second unit, or is this still the same unit? Uh, 100. Yeah, that's all still the same unit right there. Making their way down here. Now they're going to start throwing their javelins down onto the Galatian sword and Desert Vigilate mix. Shields above the Vigilate's heads. Going to be blocking some of the javelins. Galatian Swords actually came up onto the wall. And I don't think... Yeah, that Celtic Warrior unit's not going to look very good. Not going to live very long. 159 Galatian Swords against 76 Celtic Warriors. Tower here still firing away. The Gate Tower still firing onto that Celtic Warrior unit as well. Slingers here doing some damage. 13 kills, 9 kills there. Another unit of Tribal Slingers there with 17. Actually getting some really good shots in onto that Celtic Warrior unit. Very nicely done. Vigilates making their way up here again as well. Going to keep on fighting there. 
All right, let's see what's going on back over on the other side. So the defenders actually pulled back from this front area, which is kind of normal on Carthage. Ooh, we got the Gallic, Gallic Hunters. Is it all four of them? Yes, it is. All four Gallic Hunters inside the settlement. Very, very good to see them inside the settlement already. They have a pretty good uh, defense for the Hunters. They could be able to get some good shots at some point once they start finding some angles. All right, that is definitely a good see sign to see the archers already inside. Oh, we got Osworn there. Is that the only Osworn? Where's the... Where's the Arverni General? Oh, there he is. He's sitting right there. Another Osworn. Good stuff. All right. Osworn, definitely good. Definitely good. Definitely, definitely, definitely good. Oh, we got some... Uh, Spear and Spearmen came outside. Where'd they come from? I guess they came out from the gate. Came all the way down over here. Carthage going to flesh out some more of his units. Sending two, three... Three units, four units of Libyan infantry in this direction. Sam, that warrior there as well. And we actually have some fighting already. Levy Freeman charging in. Now we have some Gallic warriors already charging in onto the front line as well against the Desert Levy. Desert Levy, 18 kills. I mean, they're going to hold for as long as they can, but it's not going to be that long. Oh, Celtic warriors coming around. Going to get into the speed swordsman. Brutal. Brutal. Celtic warriors should win that fight. They should win that fight. Javelins being thrown again. Carthage getting up here. Yeah, we do. We got some Libyan infantry right there getting ready to start throwing some more javelins. Another volley getting ready to come. But, ooh, look at Saba. Saba being sneaky. Mercenary Moscow Marauders going to come up here. And they are going to have clear line of sight. Be able to just throw right down onto these Celtic warriors. Dropping them down pretty quickly. Now, Carthage could absolutely send a unit up onto that wall to come down here. A Gallic warrior unit could definitely go up there, at least stop them from throwing their javelins. We've already gotten 15 kills so far from them. Uh, wall artillery, are we doing anything? Zero and zero for Galatia and Saba. And I don't think the Scorpion is within range yet. No, not just yet. Nothing really for him to fire at yet. Not yet. But he could be trying to fire all the way down here, but that is a pretty long shot. All right, we got some of the Gallic hunters firing away onto the front line here of the Desert Legionnaires. Maybe getting some of the... No, they didn't kill any Syrians. The Syrians are starting to unload. You can see they use their position shot ability right there. So they're going to try and get some kills. They got five. Five kills to this point. Not too bad. They're actually firing in onto the uh, tribal... Sl oh, Celtic skirmishers. Oh, I thought those were slingers. Did he bring any, skir any uh, slingers themselves? Nope, there's a Celtic slinger. Okay. So he's got two Celtic skirmishers inside the settlement, one tribe, uh, one Celtic slinger outside. So I only see three units of range so far. Fort Tylus, the general for Carthage, starting to swing their way around. So this is really, this is where the real main fight is going on over there. Uh, yeah, the tribe, all of the Celtic warriors that came over here for Tylus have been easily mopped up, completely destroyed. Some more Celtic Warriors right there for Tylus charging in. 62 against 131. No, they're going to fall back. They're going to fall back. All right, we got some Gallic Warriors coming up. 154 against 131. That's actually in Carthage's favor. Nice javelin toss. Very nice. Yeah, dropping them down pretty good now. 92 kills for the Galician Swords, though. Oh, cut shot. And there goes your leg too, bud. Stab you in the gut, cut your leg off. Why not? Sounds good. I mean, it's a pretty good trade, right? I mean, you're, you're already massively bleeding from the, uh, the gut wound. Why not make you bleed out faster by chopping your leg off, I guess? <laughs> All right. Uh, did the camels do anything? Camel spearmen? No, they just kind of... I think they're just over here as like a, hey, 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 don't come over here. Kind of thing. Watch out. Always keep your eye open. All right. Let's see how the Moscow Marauders were doing. Let's see. 40 kills for that unit. I think, oh, that's just to be in Swordsman. Where's the glass of got Marauder that was up on the wall? I think that was them. Yeah, 49 kills right there. 160 men. Yeah, that was them. That was definitely them. But look at this. Here we go. Libyan infantry coming around the corner. Getting around that side. Going to get into these Moscow Marauders. Libyan infantry already taking a lot of damage. So already almost half the unit dead. They have 73 kills. Saba Swordsmen have broken 105 kills. Wow. Moscow Marauders getting in there now. 110 men left. 98 kills. Very nicely done. Celtic Warrior 79, and this Celtic Warrior there with 73 kills so far as far as for those units. Back over on this side, Tylus, Carthage, and Arverni all showing forces over on this side. Gallic Warriors still trying to battle away against these Galician Swords. Number has gotten, wow, really close. Wow. 
quite the comeback for the uh, Galatian Swords, I must say. 142 kills now, though. Really, really, really nicely done. So I'm not entirely sure why Tylus attacked over here originally when the rest of his army was over on that side. I mean, okay, if he was going to do that, maybe leave these towers to just sit here and then maybe attack them later on, or at least you'd still have them alive. You'd be able to bring them around as reinforcements over there. But again, as I say in a lot of my replays, obviously it's very easy to cover these replays and be like, oh, they should have done this. Oh, they should have done that. Uh, maybe sometimes you don't think of it in the actual battle itself, but with the majority of his force from what we saw coming out of the woods over there, I feel like this attack on this side was kind of, I don't want to say useless, but for lack of a better term, useless. Uh, I mean, like I said, if he had held off the attack, maybe waited for a little bit with those units. I mean, that was four units of Celtic Warriors and a Galothracian. I don't know where the Galothracian is. I don't know if he actually went in or not. I didn't see. But as you can see, all the other Celtic Warriors are pretty much dead that were over there. Now, there's Galothracian infantry. Maybe that one was the one from over there. I don't know. But all right, Carthage finally going to break through here. 172. Galatian Swords did a great job. Really solid job with that unit. Almost 200 kills. 174. Uh, 91 here for the Gal for the Gallic Warriors, still getting shot by the Arrow Tower. Might want to start pressuring this. Might want to start sending some of this infantry up here to stop them from just getting shot. At least charge in, at least charge into this Galatian Legionary unit to get a unit inside that circle to start neutralizing it. That would definitely help out. But alright, back over on this side. So far, Saba doing a pretty solid job. 155 Moscow Marauders. Sabian Swordsman there with 102. Is he still pulling the same trick? Now it looks like maybe a unit coming back down. Sabian Swordsman there, 40 kills. I'm guessing that was all of their javelins. So, so far, Celtic Warriors, 96, 68. Oh, that was something to waver down to 25 men. Mercenary Gallic Warriors here, 25 kills down to 56. Wow. Really well done over here by Saba at this point. Gallic Warriors, ooh, they got a little gap right there. Yep, look at that. Damage being done. Very nice done. Very nicely done. Very nice done. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Words aren't that difficult, are they? Uh, maybe they are sometimes. Maybe they are sometimes. Last couple of orders, though. Great job with them so far. Just a little under half left in the unit. 152 kills. Ooh, Libyan boys making it. No, nope. They're pulling back. Thought they were going to charge in. Are they charging in? Yeah, they are charging in. Okay. Oh, shifting out the key. Gallic warriors out. Throwing in the Libyan infantry against a pretty beaten up unit of Massacre Marauders. Shouldn't be much longer. Actually, he's pulling them out. He's going to switch out with this really small beaten up unit of Spian Swordsman. Oh, Javelin's on their retreat. Ouch, Javelin straight in the back. Straight in the back. So Saba's actually, I mean, he's still holding the line for now, but he is starting to uh, kind of crumble down a little bit. We do see some Desert Legionnaires. Oh, oh Desert Cohort. My apologies, a desert cohort making their way over here now. That is pretty big. Legionnaire is pretty strong, obviously. Desert cohort, just a little bit better. Uh, Tylus, let's see. Tribal warriors, still all tribal warriors. He does have an Osworn general and a Celtic warrior there. So Tylus is kind of holding back. I mean, he sent in a couple of units of Celtic warriors. Oh, here we go. Galatracians, go. No, don't stop. Charge. Charge, charge, charge. Don't just stand there. You're going to keep getting shot. Please, please move forward. Please. I mean, is he really... He killed, he killed eight. He killed eight on that volley. But he's losing more men to the archer tower than he is getting kills with his javelins. Definitely charge in. Definitely charge in. Well, he got a couple more kills. What's he got now? Eleven. So three more. And they're out. Looks like they're out of javelins now. Charge. Go. Don't just stand here. You're going to lose this Galathracian infantry. It is a pretty solid infantry unit. Please charge them in. Please charge them in. Got some Celtic Slingers here. Have not shot anything just yet. Looks like maybe they're getting ready. Okay, they are getting ready to start firing. Uh, looking for a good target. Okay, oh, he does have two units of Celtic Slingers. Okay, good. I only saw one. Nothing really pressing on the staircase yet. We have a tribal warrior sitting at the base of the staircase. Ooh, what was that? That was artillery. That was artillery. Saba artillery firing. He's got 89 kills. What is he firing at? Oh, he's firing right in here. Look at that shot coming through. Boom. Plowed right into those Gallic Warriors. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Good shooting right there. Barely getting over the top of that tower, too. That was really, really interesting. Really interesting. 104 kills. Very nicely done. Uh, Saba Slingers. 
192 kills, never mind. I was about to say, they don't have a lot of kills, but they do. They almost have 200 kills. All right, Desert Cohort actually charging forward. Oh, he's about to get outflanked. Yep, they're going to... Oh, nope. And now this Chosen Swordsman is going to come back. Come back, Chosen Swordsman. Help clear out this Desert Cohort. That would be a huge, huge boon for this Chosen Swordsman. Oh, switching the Javelins. Okay, close up. I like it. Close quarter. Close quarter Javelins. Very cool. Very cool. Close quarter Javelins. Killing them. Oh, God, that artillery is still popping off over here. 106 now. Very nice. Gallic Warriors, or sorry, Gallic Hunters starting to get some shots off. 62-74. This unit here with 59, but they are really depleted down. Really, really, really depleted down. We have some Tribal Slingers now making their way over to the top of the staircase. I wonder, are they going to fire? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, no. They only have eight kills. Don't charge into Tribal Warriors. Oh, that's not a good idea. Tribal Slingers. Yeah, a little bit out of position. Yep, yep, yep. Guard mode. Guard mode. Guard mode. Guard mode. I mean, only lost seven. Only lost seven. It's not bad. Not bad. All right, let's see what's going on over here with Tylus. He did get... Okay, so he is in the circle. But he's going to need to get another unit up there. Needs more infantry. Trojan swords, something. Tribal sl tribal warriors just sitting there. Get in there. You're about to lose a little. No, your advantage is gone. The advantage is gone. They were close to at least neutralizing it. But unfortunately, that uh, Galathrician infantry. Oh, they thought they broke. They actually just ran away. 36, 39 men left the unit. 26 kills. Nope, 38. Uh-oh. 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 This could be bad. I see it happening. Do you guys see it happening? I see it happening. Noble Horse, is he going to come around? Get into these Slingers? I mean, there is a Celtic Warrior unit right there. They still have Javelins. Tyler's Celtic Warriors pulling away. Maybe because they see the General coming outside. That could be why. Speaking of cavalry, anything going over here with Saba? Not really. He's just kind of sitting out. Just sitting out there. Still waiting. Still waiting. Carthage sending up a unit of Libyan infantry down to 64, so this is obviously not a unit that just got thrown in there. Uh, the Chosen Swordsman, though, they did pull back. Oh, wait, no, no, there we go. Chosen Swordsman up on the wall, taking on some Muscat got Marauders right there with 132 men. They are losing decisively. Not sure exactly how they're losing decisively. 128 against 132. Maybe because they weren't attacking? It could be. It could be why, they, uh, why they're losing decisively is because they are not attacking. Now, right here, guys, there's a gap. There is a gap right there. Get around this first line. Get into these guys. Start hitting these weaker units. I mean, that's a mascot marauder unit. 160 men getting ready to climb up on that wall. Definitely want to hit them. Definitely want to hit them. So one of these chosen swordsmen, go right in. clear, up, Hold up those two units. Come around with this other one. Come around with the other one. But Saba swordsman getting dropped. Murder sticks, death sticks, well, murder sticks. We call them murder sticks here. <coughs> do still apologize about my voice. I feel like I'm getting better, but voice is taking a couple of extra days to uh, get back to normal. But all right, Chosen Swordsman throwing all their javelins. 34 kills, 39, now 42 kills for this Chosen Swordsman. Moscow Marauders have come back down off the wall. Desert Cohort, 67 kills, 36 men. Not the greatest amount of kills for uh, Desert Cohort specifically. Back over on this side, actually Defenders being a little aggressive, sending a unit of Galatian Legionnaires down into that Celtic Warrior unit, and look at this! <coughs> Galatia now coming outside of the walls. General was already out there, Levy Freeman and a unit of Galatian Legionnaires coming out here as well. This front is not going to hold for very much longer, need more infantry here. They definitely need more infantry, I mean, it's, it's a Moscow Marauder unit, they are pretty solid. But they won't be able to hold back all of this. I mean, look at this. If all four of these units, or five, even five, you'll throw the tribal warriors in there too. Get in onto that mascot. Oh, there's a gap. There is about to be a gap right here. Come around. Come around, come around, come around. Don't just charge right into it. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Good stuff. All right, it's open. It's open. Carthage, start sending units. Start sending a unit through. Uh, the uh, Chosen Swordsman can turn around this way. Start making your way up. Start making your way up. Oh, no, he's just going. I thought this unit was going to kind of rear charge this Muscat to try and help break through. I mean, they do have more infantry here, though. Oh, yep, Carthage is doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Go, 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 Carthage. 
Moscow Marauder is going to be coming down off of the walls. I'm assuming they're going to be coming down here. Cavalry on the move. Cavalry on the move. Camel Spearman is being Camel Cataphracts. Marib Camel Cataphracts starting to move around a little bit. Tribal Warriors coming in, so it does look like the attackers are now collapsing their lines. Going to try and make a little bit of a defensive front here, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Make sure that they're all facing out towards the cavalry so they can throw their javelins. Obviously, you want to try and make sure that they are in their shield wall. I know you can't do both. I know you can't do both. But, I mean, cataphracts are nasty. Cataphracts can end a game very, very, very quickly. But all right, over here, we actually have some tribal warriors now getting in there, taking on these Galatian legionnaires. Let's see, did that... Uh, Who's that Galatian force that came outside? Legionnaires there, Levy Freeman, General's still sitting out over there. Levy Freeman, 43 kills, only losing 10 men. I think that's probably one of the best kill-death ratios I've ever seen for a Levy Freeman unit with only losing 10 men. 43 kills, very nice. Very, very nice. Battle of the mid-tier infantry over here. Tribal warriors, Galatian legionnaires. Oh, we got another tribal warrior. Another full unit of tribal warriors coming over here. Now, they need to watch out for this. I mean, it, oh, 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 Galatian sword unit has joined over here as well. All right, cavalry doing work. I didn't even see it. Catching out a unit of tribal warriors. And they're dead. Camel spearmen, 35 kills. General coming in, 15 kills. Sabian Camel Cataphracts coming in with that, uh, oh, they got refreshed, 61 kills for them. So there goes a whole unit of tribal warriors with only eight kills. Very unfortunate. Carthage falling back his lines even more. Might want to turn them around, though. Yep, yep. See, as soon as those units turned back around, the Sabian Camel, even Cataphracts, even Cataphracts were like, meh, let's just kind of hold off on that. 110 armor, though. 110, 90 there, and this unit here with only 25. Camel Spear and only 25 armor. Engage. Noble Horse General for Galatia, hidden. You can see the eyeball right there. This is a hidden unit. But I'm going to hope that the attacker still knew that this unit was outside. Oh, no, they're, they're visible now. They are visible there now. Uh, looks like this Tribal War unit has switched out, so they're going to make their way forward into the Galatian Legionnaire unit on this side. 139 kills, 59, 54 men left in the unit. Another unit of Galatian Legionnaires right behind them, though. Looks like they're going to form up their next line. Celtic Slingers, 56 kills. Desert Vigilation is kind of hanging out back up over there. Where's the Scorpion? Where is the Scorpion? He was up... There he is. Scorpion right here. Let's see. Zero kills. Still hasn't fired anything. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Sabo over here actually looking quite beaten up. Down to his last... He's got one unit of Mascot Marauders there. 86 and 87 for the kills on these other two units of Moscow. He does have a Spian Spearman outside. One final unit of Slingers there. So he's going to have to depend a lot on his cavalry game here moving forward because Saba's almost done. It's quite surprising. Quite surprising. Dropping down. Cavalry coming around. Still swinging around. Being a, being a nuisance, being a, uh, a target, a distraction, if you will. Keeping a lot of these forces outside. I mean, if they wanted to, they could bridge, easily bring all of this infantry inside. And the, allow the cataphracts to try and come through the rubble to get into them. But alright, back over here. I think that first, yeah, Galatian Legionnaires have been taken out. So alright, here we go. Tribal Warriors on the move. Looks like Levy Freeman are going to be coming back inside. General's coming back inside as well. I think that Galician Sword Unit, I didn't see where they went. But there was a Galician Sword Unit outside. But here we go. This is a kill pocket. This is a kill pocket. This is a kill cut. No, yep, yep, javelins. Okay, yes, yeah, stay there. He's neutralizing it. Good, 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 good. No need to press further forward. Oh, nice javelin right there. Killed one. Got another unit of tribal warriors, the smaller unit of tribal warriors making their way forward. Now, if you guys don't know what a kill pocket is, I will simply explain it to you. One unit here, one unit here. You have, unless they're, like, they, he could charge both of these units, but they will take javelins on their way in. 
The shooter with 40 kills. Probably out of javelins. The shooter only 7. They still definitely have javelins. And the towers have now been neutralized. So that's actually really good for the attackers. Because these two units of tribal warriors can now just stand here if they want. They could just sit here and hold. And make sure that they don't re-lose or don't lose the towers back to the attackers. Uh, to the defenders. Alright, back over on this side. Yes, Saba is reeling. Really taking a lot of damage. We got the uh, Sabian Spearman actually char got charged. I think they got charged. Yeah, they're in they're in square in a screen shield screen. There we go. So this chosen swordsman unit definitely charged in onto that Saba Spearman unit. Let's get back out over here. Where's the cavalry? Nope, still just hanging out. Still just sitting. 64, 62. The general with 34. But you can see, yep, the rest of the attacking forces now making their way inside the walls. I don't know where these guys are going. I just get them in. Just get them inside. No pressure on the staircase. No pressure over here yet either. We got the tribal warriors. Small unit of tribal warriors have climbed up onto the wall. Going to be taking on some Galatian Legionnaire. Oh, no, no, no. We got attacking. Celtic warriors going forward. Going to charge into the flat. Yeah. The you know what? what was that? What the heck? What the heck was that? Celtic Warriors, I think they were charging into that Galician Legionnaire unit, but it was a very strange charge. Very strange charge. Tribal Warriors over on this side. Look at all the guys. Yeah, look at half, like, not half the unit, like a third of the unit getting caught on that building. Causing the Galician swords to chase them down, though. Carthage, yeah, send some units over here. I mean, you guys are doing a lot of work over on that side. A lot of work has been done so far over here definitely want to start making some pressure on this side even if you're not going to try and take the stairs you can just come in here come in here this if you win this this can be cut off they'll have to run all the way back around over that way to get back towards the town center definitely need more pressure though both of these Galatian swords actually came out tribal warriors losing should hopefully be able to start turning the fight around a little bit with the Celtic warrior support <coughs> Tribal Warriors up on the wall here, 52 kills, I'm sorry, 52 men, 65 kills. They are keeping two units at bay though. Levy Freeman and a Galatian Legionnaire up there. Tribal Warriors pulling back. Pulling back a full unit of Tribal Warriors. There you go, starting to break. Defense is starting to break again. Galatian Swords not holding up as well. Yeah, look at that. Tribal Warriors combat even now. They were losing decisively. Now they're bringing it back. Very, very good. Very good. All right, let's get back over on the other side here. Yeah, oh my God, Saba's gone. The side of his cavalry, which he's got his two out there. Where does General go? General's sitting over there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but the attackers are doing a really good job. Osworn up there, 93 kills, only losing 63 men. Oh, Palin. Palin in the back. Palin in the back. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, we got a tribal warrior up here as well, taking on this uh, Desert Legionnaire. I think the Legionnaire is going to win that fight, though, just by numbers. 92 against 136. Looks like it's favor of the Desert Legionnaires. Osworn pulling away. Completely backing away from this fight. I don't really know if they needed to do that. But all right, we got Chosen Swordsman making their way forward. Two units making their way up. Now, what's the defense looking like? That unit down, 101. This unit down, still full. Full unit. 63 kills for the Desert Legionnaires. Second unit of Desert Legionnaires. Here comes that Scorpion, though. Looks like he's kind of trying to line up here. Yup, I think he's going to fire. Yep. African Scorpion is going to start firing down the line into all of these forces, and he is shooting into a blob. Look at the attackers just blobbed right here. No, spread out, spread out, spread out, spread out. Spread all this infantry out, guys. Come on. Don't just leave them stacked up like that. What's he at? 13 kills probably gonna get some more brutal battle still going on over here though oh actually look at this tribal warriors coming out catching out a desert legionnaire unit 
Interesting. Oh, is that another one coming out? It is. Second unit coming out of the gate here now, or are they going back inside? No, they're going back inside. They're coming back in. They're going to continue taking on these Galatian swords. Carthage pressing forward again. Kind of an off charge. A lot of the men getting hung up on the corner building there. But Tylus with his tribal warriors, if he wanted to, that is a pretty strong infantry unit right there. Yeah, tribal warriors just come right around here. Just get in there. Get into this fight right there. Charge into that Galatian sword unit. Probably cause a lot of damage on the charge in. Oh, that's where they're going. Looks like that's where... They're... Nope, they're coming over here. We're going to charge this way. So basically what I'm saying by charging this way is depending on which unit is which flag. Char oh, wait. Nope. Oh, never mind. They're coming up onto the wall. They're going to turn and take on this Galatian Legionnaire there. Tribal Warriors outside. Doing work. Yep, doing work. I don't see them losing. They're going to be over 85 men after they're done. They're going to be over 85 men. Oh, Saba Cavalry. Oh, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think that Tribal War unit's about to die. You're going to try and turn around and charge into a unit. No. Oh, no. Cop Camel. No. Gatafrax, what are you doing? Oh, that was not what he wanted to do. Having to send in his general to try and save these Camel Cataphrax. Oh, that was a misclick. That was absolutely a misclick. But Tribal Warriors suffering. Suffering big time. I think they actually, the uh, yeah, Noble Horse General charged in on the other side. So there they go. Tribal Warriors gone. 150 kills. 155 kills. 58 men left in the unit. But that was a, ooh, that was a big almost oops. Almost huge oops by that Camel Cataphrax unit. Tyler's coming back outside of the walls again. I wouldn't even bother. Would not even really bother. Just keep pressing in. Are they moving on this street? They are not. Nobody's come to this staircase yet. Fighting still going on down over on this street here. Arverni leading the way. Chosen Swordsman, 46 kills, 70 kills. That unit is losing, though. Definitely wants to start getting more men moving. We got some tribal slingers right there for Masasely. Firing up onto the wall, getting into both units here. Libyan Infantry dropping down. Tribal Warriors dropping down. Actually hitting the Desert Legionnaire unit as well. That Scorpion is still firing away. 116 kills. Where's he? He's firing at the General. He's got to be firing at the OS-1. Oh, he's hitting the Slingers. Yeah, he's hitting everything. He's hitting the Slingers and the General. Ooh. That's actually a really good spot. That is a good spot. 130 kills. I mean, this was another really good spot right here. Had the attackers started using or trying to take the staircase, he could have just fired right down over there and helped out. Big mosh pit over on this side, though. Tribal warriors, Libyan infantry, Osworn. Tribal warriors and the Osworn general for our Verdi sitting over here. definitely a tribal war you can tell by the armor but all right Galatia falling back just a little bit Galatia Legionnaires pulling back 107 men 74 kills Osworn up there again 142 138 kills very nicely done they're falling back as well I don't know why they're falling back they're fresh keep up the pressure here boys keep it up definitely want to just keep going in there Where's the camels? They all pulled back. They're all hiding. Ooh, maybe not the camel spearmen. Or maybe they are. No, they're going to go back in the woods. But the general and the Sabine camel cataphracts both hiding over here. Uh, this unit's still full. 80 out of 80. The general was 68, so he lost 12 men. I think he lost them over here trying to take, trying to help or save the uh, camel cataphracts that were over there. Still more brutal fight going on over here. Galatian Legionnaires. Actually, we have Legionnaires all the way over here now as well for Galatia. Wow. So kind of spreading his forces thin. Still having more units break. Levy Freeman there. Unit of Galatian Swords break. 53 men. They may come back. Oswarn going to charge in. Help out the Libyans. Okay. 
Not a bad idea. They will be able to get around a little bit around the corner here, try to get into this collision sword unit as well. Looks like they're breaking through. Yep, yep. Oh no, sorry, it's Libyan infantry pulling back. Are they coming around? Yep, they're gonna come around the corner here. Oh, both of those units came back, nice. Levy Freeman and the Galatian Swords both came back. Carthage, Libyan infantry gonna come around. I'm gonna try and get a rear charge in onto the back of those guys, maybe try and break them. Nope, never mind. Galatian Swords saw it first. Gonna get the charge off onto that Libyan infantry. Back over here, we have the Oathsworn General sitting up, tossing javelins into this Galician Legionnaire unit. Charge! 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 charge. Never mind. Yeah, a little bit of a counter charge. Not really the greatest of counter charges, but a little bit. A little bit of a counter charge. Anything pressing on the stairs? Yes! Actually, we finally have a unit of tribal warriors have made their way up, taking on Desert Legionnaires on the staircase. Uh, this Desert Legionnaire unit, 28 kills. I don't know if maybe they still have some Pelum left. They may, they may be. Maybe they do. Move them up a little bit further. This unit, 143 kills. Probably not. Uh, this unit's got zero. Desert Cohort, zero kills. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to shift them around over here and get those Pila into the side of that Tribal Warrior unit. Just try and kill them when you can. Really, it's just try and kill them when they can. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Got Sab. Sab. Sabine Camel Cataphracts coming around. Yeah, Galatian, swords, Galatian Swordsman over here not really faring very well. Three units of Galician Swords against two units of Oswald, one of those being the General. Camel Cataphracts look like they're lining up, getting ready to charge. Are we getting ready for a charge? I think they are. Come on, Saba. Come on, Saba. Oh, he's trying to shift. Nope, he's going to pull back. He's going to pull away. This whole area has now been taken over. We have the Marib Camel Cataphract General moving his way up forward as well. It's not captured yet. I don't think he's going to try and come through that gate, though. That would be that would be kind of suicide for his general to try and make their way through here. Yeah, no, there's too much. Tribal warriors, two Osworn. Way too much. Osworn general turning, facing the point. I like that's good. That was good tension right there. Very good attention. The Osworn general turned just to face that breach point, just in case. Just in case Saba decided to try and charge through there. Uh, attack for the center has been stopped, but oh boy, General Bodyguard for Carthage. He looks like he's going range hunting. And he's got a range unit right there he can hammer. Go get him. Yeah, they are. Bye-bye, Tribals. Oh, wait, never mind. Legionnaires turn around. Okay. I mean, it was a good little move, though. Good little move, but this is a problem. This is a problem. Two O-Sworn making their way up the streets. A couple more units of Tribal Warriors making their way up this way. Now they're going to try and start, see, okay, blocking breaches, not a bad idea, but when there's four, five, technically five, because that's a double breach, one, one, two, three, four, five here, I would just assume it's just guard the street. Or if you don't care about losing the tower, just guard the street back there, honestly. I wouldn't try and start plugging actual breach points, because you, you just don't have enough infantry to do it. All right, here we go. Camel Spearman coming over. Got a unit of Celtic warriors walking somewhere. I don't really know where they're going. Maybe they were going to go over there, but they're not... No, never mind. God. Jesus, what a hammer charge that was. They do not... Uh, I think the attackers own this tower, though, right? Yeah, they do. Camel Spearmen doing their thing, though. 135 kills, 67 men left in the unit. Celtic Warriors, this is a medium melee, yeah, medium melee. I was going to say, I didn't think camels were heavy melee. Vigilay is now getting involved in the fight. That Celtic Warrior unit's going to probably die. Probably going to die. All right, here we go. Osworn and a unit of Libyan infantry. Where are the Sam Knights? There's a Sam Knight. There's a Sam Knight. Libyan infantry. So only brought two Sam Knights, or unless maybe one of them was already dead. Uh, Slingers here for Masesley firing away. Tribal Slingers firing at... What are they firing at? Chosen Swordsman on the wall? It's just one guy. Unless they just accidentally forgot to tell them to stop shooting there. Which is possible. 
Scorpion's still over here. 247 kills for the Scorpion. Looks like they still have ammo loaded up. Yeah, they still have more shots loaded up. Tribal Slinger's now making their way down over here. Marib Camel Cataphract General coming around. Keep an eye on these Slingers. Please keep an eye on these Slingers. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. These Slingers are dead. Camel Spearmen are going to come from one side. Oh, the, oh I think the, the Spearmen are going to get the Slingers. Oh, yep. He's hitting both units. Hit both units. Goodbye. They're both gone. 246, 265, 270. Camel Spearmen cleaning up more of these Celtic Slingers back here. Very, very impressively done there. Comes the Marib Camel Cataphract General making his way forward. The other Camel Cataphracts, where's the Sabian ones? Did they die? Nope, there they are. Back up over there. Okay. I just want to make sure that I'm seeing everything that I can. Uh, these tribals, I mean, just move forward. Just move forward. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Don't leave these units out by themselves. Tribal Warrior's going to switch into Shield Wall. I think he's just going to come over here and neutralize. Yep, he's just going to stop here and neutralize. I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all there. Osworn getting in there. 363 kills with this Osworn unit. Wow. Very, very, very good amount of kills so far. And there's still 63 men in that unit, so they may be able to continue on. Just pull them out. Well, make sure you just refresh them. Just refreshed him. We got another unit of Libyan infantry right there. Pretty full unit, 153 men. Oswan General for Tylus up in the fight. 57 kills, 101 men left in, the, yeah, in that unit. But again, look at this. Getting guys up on the walls, throwing their javelins down. Noble Horse General coming around. Marib Camel Cataphract coming around. Ooh, man. I think he's going to come over here and just kill off the rest of that Slinger unit. He probably will, just to get some more numbers. He's got 28 kills, so that'll give him uh, more. That'll give him more. Close to 70, right? How many kills do he have? 28. Closer to 80, actually. Closer to 80 kills if he cleans out the rest of that Slinger unit. Vigilace tried to come in here to neutralize, so good good on uh, Carthage for seeing that. We'll easily murder them some Desert Vigilace there. Back up over here, though. Oh, Camel Cataphracts. Oh, no. That's a big charge target right there. Nope. Oh, no. Oswan General. Yeah, run. Run for your lives. Run for your lives. Tyler's coming back down over here. He's, at least he's keeping these two units together. So that's good. Oh, Camel Cataphracts coming back in. Rear charging the Oswan General now. Yep, so the Oswan came through. Nice move by Saba. The general came through, and then he double-backed onto that unit of Legionnaires, which allowed that Camel Cataphract to get in there. 93 kills now. Good amount of damage to that O's one general. Really good amount of damage. Wow. Down to half the unit. So a lot of damage being done over here. Uh, we have Carthage up on the wall. Actually, Carthage and Tylus getting to these Desert Vigilates, actually wavering a unit of Slingers. They may come back, though. 30. Yep, there they came back. Okay. This is brutal. This is definitely close. Balance of power is still pretty much damn even. But very nicely done here so far by the attackers and the defenders. Osworn General blasting off with his uh, headhunt there. 208 for him. 445 kills for Osworn. Whoa. Go, boys, go. And I'm saying it like that because I love Osworn. I think Osworn is one of the best infantry units in the entire game. Yeah, I really do. Really do. I mean, I've seen Osworn lose. They do lose. They're not like god units or whatever. But they're my favorite unit. I'll go out there and say it right now. Osworn, my favorite unit. If you guys didn't already know that. 457, though. Looks like they bounced back. They're going to try and get into these tribal slingers. That still have the unit of Libyan infantry there. Sam Knight's now going to come in and help the Osworn. Nope, they're not. Oh, they're switching out here. Okay. I mean, it's winded. Host one general winded. Yeah, we're going to need some more infantry here. Do we have more? Oh, we do. We have... Oh, look at that. The Marib Camel Cataphract General. Charged down to the back of it. Another unit of uh, tribal warriors there. Nice charge. Only killed seven. Oh, ten. He killed ten. 
Noble Horse General coming around. Oh, Javelins. Ow, 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 ow. Just lost eight men. Eight horses died right there. Oof. Rough. But yeah, the attackers could def... Oh, wait, never mind. There they are. Osworn making their... I'm sorry. Tribal Warriors making their way forward. But they are kind of getting a little trapped. Comes to being Camel Cataphracts. Looks like they're making their way forward. Nope, he's going to pull back. Now here... Okay. Here's, this is a little bit of a sticky situation, I would, I would guess. One of the units could have gone there and blocked this off and allowed the second unit to come through and help the front, but oh god, I see it happening. Oh nope, 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 they turned around. Mercenary Sandar Warriors turned around. Charge! Catch them out! Oh nope, not good. Not good. Not good. They didn't throw javelins. I thought they still had javelins to throw. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 116 kills for the Sabine Camel Cataphracts doing a great job. Now, right here. This right here, block that. Shield wall and block that. Don't. No, don't keep chasing. No, you're going to die. I mean, they got some javelins off. They killed seven. Camel Cataphracts now with the trample being done, though, they're going to have to run away. Very tired. Yeah, they're going to have to pull them back. So this right here, this unit, shield wall right there. Oh, we have a general died? What general died? Was it the Osborne General? I think it was. I think it was the Arverni General. Actually, Arverni's pretty much gone. I just noticed that. Shield wall right here. Right there or right here. And have this infantry keep pressing forward. Still brutal fighting going on over here, though. Libyan infantry taking on the Desert Legionnaires, doing a great job against them. 116 there, 109 for the Legionnaires. Really great late game uh, usage of the cav of the cavalry though so far for Saba. He's doing a really good job. Shield walled there, very nice. I mean, if Saba charged in on that side, they would definitely get the side charge off. But I don't think he's going to risk it. Second unit of tribal warriors making their way forward. Oswan general, 329. The other Oswan did unfortunately broke. <coughs> This is one general here for Tylus, 142 kills. This is close, though. Oh, balance of power has actually shifted really in favor of the attackers. I just saw that, probably because they have so many tribals still sitting around. If four units of tribals on the field, five units of tribals on the field. Sam Knight's there, general. Uh, the Tylus general is dead. I think the Osworn, the general for Arverni is dead as well. Unless maybe that was the Tylus general that died. Cataphracts pulling back. Spearmen, where's the spear cavalry? Are they dead? I think they're dead. I don't see them anymore. Yeah, I don't see the uh, I don't see the camel spearman unit anymore. But the attackers still making their way forward. What do we still have left here for infantry? Sixty nine giggity, uh, fifty fours, forty seven. The desert cohort going to continue holding the line. We actually have a tribal war, a tribal warriors. Yeah, coming down the wall over here. Wonder if they're just going to come over here to try and neutralize up this tower. But while they're doing that, they definitely want to keep pressing forward. Guard your rear lines and keep pressing forward. They're actually doing good here. They're doing good here. If this is their this is their aim of attack, then honestly, I would have two units of infantry go here, shield wall to block that road, and here to block that road for now. Just to make sure that cavalry doesn't have another way. I mean, they could obviously come all the way down over here, but with the tower... You should be able to see them with the tower if they were to come around over there. All right. Assault has begun again here for the attackers. Pressing into these really depleted units for the defenders. I'm just waiting for cavalry to show up, though. Waiting for them to come around. All right, Tylus. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Are we just neutralizing? Yeah, they're just neutralizing. Don't go that way. Don't go that way. Oh, God. I see it. Marib Camel Cataphract General. Very tired, though. 60 kills for him. Here comes the Sabian Camel Cataphracts making their way as well. I think this tribal war unit's about to have the end of the day very, very soon. Very soon, end of a day. Oh, they're going to charge in. They're going to try and take on these Legionnaires, but here comes death. Literally death riding up behind them. 
Slinger's going to charge in. I guess you're just going to hold him there. So B and Camel Cataphract's going that way. Maybe the Marib Camel Cataphract General's going to charge in. Yep, he's going. He's going. Get him! Again, yeah, another thing. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. We got low. Wait, 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 wait. Not in shield wall. They're dead. Ouch. Big hammer. They're getting right through. Knocked down, like, pretty much knocked down the entire unit. Yeah, look at all those men getting back up. Did a good amount of kills, though, on the, on the first charge, though. Down to 110 men. I think that was a full unit, so they just killed... 50 Samnite Warriors right there. Libyan Infantry falling back here. Are you just going to come around and get into these guys? No, nope, they're going to move on by. Just keep on moving by. The General there did a good amount of damage to that Tribal Warrior unit, though. Down to 42 men. Yeah, this is falling apart over here for the Defenders. This is, this is uh, not looking good. Not looking good. We have the General there, the Median Noble Infantry General from Sicily, still holding the line taking on a very depleted unit of tribal warriors with almost 200 kills. Keep moving forward. Just keep going forward. Take whichever angles you want to go, whichever streets you want to use, just go. Libyan infantry, Sam Knight warriors coming back. Looks like those Sabian Camel Cataphracts are going to be making their way back down, though. Wonder if he's going to try and corral this. Ooh, I wonder. Is he going to try and charge in there? Maybe the Libyan Infantry going to fall over here, get into shield wall this time? Unlike their Samnite Warrior brothers. General moving up. He's taking a risk. Oh, no. He's got it. Nope. No shield wall. Again. Huge charge. Bashing right through. And now they're going to get into the rear lines. Oh, no. This Camel Cataphract General is going to get so many kills. So many kills against all of these depleted units that are not in shield wall and are facing the wrong way. Oh my god. Here we go again. Big hammer charge. Saba is really starting to pay, make the attackers pay for it now. Big hammer. Oh my god. Tribal warriors just getting absolutely murdered. The Rib Camel Cataphract General still on the move. He's going to come around the corner here. Get into the back of the Osworn General, probably. I mean, the defenders don't have much left. It's really not looking good for the defenders. It's really, really, really not looking good for the defenders. But the Rib Camel Cataphract going to charge on to the Osworn. Yep. I mean, he's all alone. They tried to get the shield wall, but there wasn't really enough of them for it really make that much of a difference. General's bodyguard just took a huge charge with the Marib Camel Cataphract General. He's got to be careful. He's down to 38 men left, and he is a super heavy shock cavalry, so his melee defense is pretty garbage. 26 melee defense. Back over here, Sabian Camel Cataphracts doing work. Didn't even see it, but yep, not shocked. Not shocked at all. Breaking another unit of tribal warriors there. Coming down and around. This unit needs to stop and get here. Get right there. Shield wall at the base of the stairs. Osworn General, I, looked, I think he finally just died there. I think the Osworn General finally just died. The Marib Camel Cataphract General is... I think he's still alive. I don't see anything saying that he's dead. Attackers making their way forward, though, towards the town center. A lot of infantry still sitting over here. Oh. Camel Cataphracts, scary. Scary. Okay, got him into shield wall. Good, 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 good. Very good. Now just keep an eye in case they try to come through here. Nope, he's still moving them. Okay. He's going to keep moving them along. The Marib Camel Cataphract General there, 231 kills. Got a fantastic rear charge onto that tribal warrior unit. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're moving. They're dead. I mean, I, okay, I know they're still in shield wall, but that was a good charge. Being Camel Cataphracts, nice charge there. The town center, though, is an issue. The town center is definitely an issue. Nice little rip through again on those Sam Knights. Carthage General going to come on over here. He just took a humongous charge. Osworn General still 68 men in the unit. General is dead, though. That's unfortunate. Carthage General, gone. Carthage General is now gone. Tribal Warriors, stop chasing. Just sit. Just sit still. Oh, God. 
Oh my God, but Rib Camel Cataphract, 274. He's getting over 300 easy. The Sabian Camel Cataphract still rumbling around over here. Balance of power is definitely still in favor of the attackers for now, but I don't think it's going to be in their favor for very much longer. 107 Tribal Warriors currently taking on the Celtic Slingers. Cavalry again, Noble Horse Cavalry from our, um, our Verney. Wow, from Galatia now charging in onto the back of those Tribal Warriors. Nice little charge there. Here comes the Sabaean Camel Cataphracts charging in onto these. Oh, God. Really, really depleted unit of Sam Knight Warriors. They're gone. Wow, what a turnaround. Look at the balance of power just ticking back in favor of the defenders. Can't believe that general is still alive, though. 19 men left in the unit. I'm actually... Oh, no, he's dead. Saba General just recently died. Okay. But the defenders still have both generals. Pretty sure, yeah, the, both the, the defenders still have two generals alive. Marib Camel Cataphracts going for a charge. Myth dry fire on the javelins from the Libyan infantry. Not good. The Median Noble infantry now charging in. Marib Camel Cataphract general is wavering down to five men left in the unit. That doesn't mean he's out, though. He can still do damage. They can definitely still do damage. The Libyan infantry coming around. Sam Knights lining up. Not in shield wall. Five cavalry blasted right. See? Right there. That's exactly what I was just about to say. Even with five, they just blasted right through that line. Sabian Camel Cataphracts now coming back, hammering on that Sam Knight Warrior unit there. Wow, this is close. This is really close, but the defenders are definitely pulling this back. Look at the balance of power now. So far in their favor now. It, the balance of power was all the way down there. It was like a quarter of the balance of power was in favor for the defenders and they have absolutely turned this fight completely around no shield wall ouch Sabians 268 the noble infantry in there yep Sabian Kamen Cataphracts just charging all over the place here comes the noble cav noble horse 165 for him charging in onto that uh, Libyan infantry wow what a comeback what a turnaround. Amazing. Absolutely amazing job by the defenders here. Saba, I'm going to say, Saba was a little shocking. Uh, he lost his infantry pretty quick. I mean, not pretty quick as far as, far as like how much time was in the battle. I was just shocked on how fast his infantry was dying. Uh, but yeah, they're pretty much cleaned out. 18 seconds, final unit right there. Sam Knights trying to get the kills that they can on these Syrian archers, but they just got rear charged, and there you go. Wow, what a turnaround. Brutal, bloody battle. Turnaround in the last three minutes. Last three to four minutes this battle got turned around for the defenders. Wow, really amazing job. All right, let's take a look at the factions. We'll start off here with Saba being commanded by Agent Panda. 2,879 kills. Great job there. Uh, his, infantry, his infantry did, wow, okay. They did a lot better than I thought they did. But all right, 312 for the General, 323 for the Sabian Camel Cataphracts. Um, yeah, Sabian Camel Cataphracts. The Camel Spearman, 276. Look, at that's crazy. That's gross. Slingers, 192, 140. Masagat Marauders, 181, 193, 115. 121, 140. Sabian Swordsman, 158, 127, 145, 130, 105. Wow, all five units of the Sabian Swordsman, over 100 kills. Great job. Uh, then we have Vendetta here with Masesli, 1908. 167 with his general. 250 on the Scorpion. Good job there. Slingers, 91, 96, 93. So some of them okay. Uh, Desert Cohort, 105. Legionnaires, 133, 108, 168, 110. Vigilates, 104 for a Vigilate. Very good. And then we have JMS Fox Sartoga with Galatia, 2,302 kills. 193 with the general. Range did great. Celtic Slingers, 114. Syrians, 129, 216, 118. Great job there. Uh, Legionnaires, 163, 149, 166. Ooh, those two, not good. 116, Galatian Swords, 174, 190, 104. Pretty good. 104 on the Levy Freeman as well. Uh, then we have Donner Crawl here with Tyler, 16, 16, 156 with the General. Slingers, 96 and 101. Celtic Warriors, just, yeah, the Celtic Warriors got thrashed. Uh, his Tribal Warriors, though, 162, 193, 208, 102, 113, 124, 8. Eee, that was one of the units that got charged. Uh, then we have Dova Kin here with our Verdi, 2,652 kills, 392 with the General, his archers, 157, 135, 
Two of them not doing good. Celtic Warriors, 149, 125. Chosen Swords, 162, 187, 106. 139, 122. And his other O's won 459 kills. Great job there. And then we have Beyond Rusty here with Carthage, 2,258. General, unfortunately, only 28 kills. One of his archers, 98. Libyan Infantry, 122, 154, 118, 142, 206, 133, 117, 200. Wow. Wow. Eight units of tribal war of, of tribal warriors. Eight units of Libyan Infantry all over 100. Some of them, 200. 206, 200. Great job. Uh, Celtic Warriors, unfortunately, not very good. 92 for the top kill there. And is three units of Sam Knights, 146, 304, and 152. Close battle, guys. Definitely a lot of fun to cover. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed that battle. That was that was big. That was a big fight. That was a really, really big fight. I mean, look, two guys over 2,000, two of them close to 3,000 kills, kind of close to 3,000 kills. And the other two not far off from 2,000, 1908 and 1616. But all right, guys, great job. Thank you to all six players playing in the battle again. Agent Panda, thanks for sending the replay over, bud. Big time thank you to him. But that is going to be the end. So, guys, make sure, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around, and, of course, Subscribe to the channel. Still on the road to 10,000 subscribers plus for 2022, before the end of 2022, hopefully. But that is going to be the end, like I've already said two or three times. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one. Hey, guys. I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.